Hey everyone, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. And since I'm wearing pajamas with the Grinch on, you guessed it, it's time for my what I got for Christmas video. Firstly, just let me say that I hope you all had a wonderful, magical, exciting, love-filled Christmas, that you got to spend it with the people that you love and that you had a super awesome time. Personally, I had an amazing time. I think it was my best Christmas yet, including the year that Santa brought me that white bike with the pink tassels when I was like six. That was a good Christmas, but I think this one was even better because I got to fly home to be with my family family and Cody was here so it was just everything and more. Full disclosure I did wake up at three o'clock this morning to drive Cody to the airport. He's gone back to San Diego and as you guys can imagine I'm feeling a little bit emotional about it. I also woke up with one heck of a cold and now I'm a little bit loopy on Dayquil. But with all that said I might be a little bit out of it but I am really excited to film today's video. I love filming what I got for Christmas videos Firstly, because I get to sit here in my pajamas, and is there anything better than that? And secondly, because it's like the most fun haul of the year. And as you guys already know by now, this video comes from a very genuine and humble place. It's not me trying to show off. I am so grateful for all of the gifts I got this Christmas, but I am more grateful for all of the people that I had around me, and the gifts were a nice bonus. Let's get into this because it's winter in Wales, it's two o'clock and it's gonna be dark within the next 40 minutes because that's how we roll here. So let's start with the obvious, my new Christmas pyjamas. They very aptly say, only here for the presents, and the bottoms are like candy cane stripes. You see that? They're a lot. They're a little bit intense for some people. I understand that, but I love them. And my favorite thing about these pajamas is that Cody got a matching pair. We had matching Grinch pajamas. We're that couple now. That is the stage that we're at. Not just matching Christmas pajamas, matching Grinch candy cane trousers pajamas in your face, the most Christmassy pajamas you've ever seen matching. I don't have a picture of that and that is probably my biggest regret in life. And we got these as a gift from my brother and sister-in-law. They put together these little Christmas Eve boxes with pajamas and then we each had a Christmas mug, there's hot chocolate in here, there's fluffy Christmas socks and then everybody had like little treats in there too. So mine had like vegan chocolates and face wipes and then they also put little christmas crackers in there and that game where you have a character's name and you stick it on your head those little boxes were a really cute idea and we all really enjoyed them i'm still enjoying my grinch pajamas next let's talk about the gifts that i got from my parents the main one being replacement suitcases because if you guys saw the mangled mess that was returned to me eventually after Etihad Airways lost my suitcases it was just not usable. So they got me replacement suitcases. I would love to show them to you right now, but since Cody's been here living in this tiny room with me and we actually had two beds in here, there was just no room for suitcases. So the suitcases had to go straight up the attic out of the way, but they're IT or IT luggage, just like my old ones, they're very similar but instead of being all flowery and bright, they're just plain pink, and I love them. So excited to have suitcases that actually function again. Then they got me some more Christmas pajamas. I swear, my Christmas pajamas outnumber my regular pajamas by like four pairs to one, but I love them. They're pink, it says, what does it say? Winter Wonderland on the top, and then the bottom is very festive with like reindeer and snowflakes and all that jazz, all the good stuff. But these are from Matalan and they are absolutely mm, so soft and adorable. Next, I got this cute little outfit from Miss Selfridge. The top is just plain black, it's ribbed, it's long sleeved and around the edges it has this little like ruffly detail. Do you see that? Do you know what I mean? Then to go with it, I have this cute little plaid skirt and when I say little, I mean little. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit into this because Miss Selfridge sizes run a little bit small. This is an eight. I mean, 
pre-Christmas Miss Selfridge I was a 10. I've eaten my weight in chocolate since then so I don't even know what size I am at this point. Hopefully I can change it for a bigger size because it is adorable. Then what do you know? A third pair of Christmas pyjamas. Actually these ones are not specifically Christmassy. I haven't even opened these ones up yet so let's rummage in there and see what they're like. So these ones are from Debenhams and they have this sparkly butterfly on the top and then the bottoms are just pink with stars on and I know it seems like I've had a lot of pajamas and pajamas will continue to be a theme throughout this video. This is not the last pair of pajamas you will see but it's really lucky because a bunch of my pajamas when I was leaving Bahrain had to throw out because they were worn through with holes. I was wearing holy pajamas. Now I don't need to deal with that anymore because I've got pajamas for days. Next I have this amazing scarf slash blanket slash shawl slash everything. Look at it. It's just like a cocoon for me and I love it. I'm always cold. It's from Primark. I'm in love with it and I might just leave it on right now everyone's okay with that. Then they got me an external hard drive which is going to be extremely useful to me in my life because my laptop is full. It is shouting out for help. It does not have any more space for anything and I keep trying to download stuff and save stuff and it's not happy. I got a little case to go with it so it's portable. Next, got my Disney princess socks. Bell slipper socks, very fluffy. They have chip on there. I'm 28 years old and I'm proud to wear Disney princess socks. I think I'm wearing Disney princess socks right now actually. No, these have Bambi on them. You can't see that. That's the bottom of my foot. That wasn't helpful. Okay, moving on from my feet, I got a new Pandora charm and I am so excited about this one because it's a Harry Potter one. I didn't even know that they'd come out with new Harry Potter charms. That just seemed to pass me by. Nobody mentioned it to me. Like, did you guys know about this? So I got a Ravenclaw one and I'm gonna get up close so you can see. I know it's a little bit difficult to see because my camera's freaking out. So right here we have the Ravenclaw Raven, I guess. And then on the other side, it says uh, Ravenclaw and then Learning Wit Wisdom. And on the back of this one, it says Harry Potter. And I know that's very difficult for you to see, what with the crazy lights and my camera not wanting to focus. I love the detail and I love that it's Ravenclaw. This next gift I'm really intrigued by and I'm thinking of doing a Try It Out Tuesday video about this because it's a light, it's from Avon, and it kind of pulsates. So the light goes on and then the light goes off and it's supposed to help you fall to sleep, so that would be great, but I also feel like this would be super useful for meditation. Something like this to help me with my breathing would be super useful. So let me know if you want me to do a Try It Out Tuesday video about that. They also got me an Echo Dot, so I'm super excited, if not a little bit terrified about this one, because I know it'll be super useful to me. But have you seen those videos where people like hack the Alexas and then they start doing really creepy things? I feel like that would happen to me and I would lose my mind. So I'm excited, also terrified, mostly excited. Then I also got a craft of cocktails book because apparently in 2020, I'm gonna make some fancy drinks. They also got me some really cute Alice in Wonderland stuff. So I have this one sign with the quote, sometimes I believe as many as six impossible things before breakfast, which just is true to me and my life. And then also these really beautiful Alice in Wonderland like plates and bowls and a mug and it's a whole set. I'm not going to delve too far into it because I will break everything but let me just show you the mug so you get an idea. Just has the Mad Hatter on it and then the March Hare and the Tea Mouse. Tea Mouse? Dormouse. Tea Mouse. It's the day quill. It's getting to me okay but you get the idea and then there's like a little plate in there, a saucer, a bowl. It's a cute little set. Oh this bag smells good. This must be where the bath bombs are. Okay so you guys know if you saw one of my vlogmas videos the other day that Lush did not make the butter bed this year. Essentially ruining Christmas. They stole the spirit of Christmas. But 
for some reason that I don't understand, while they didn't make the butter bear, they did just make a plain round bath bomb that smells exactly like the butter bear. So it's like small mercies. I'm glad that that exists because the smell is wonderful. But the whole joy of the butter bear is in his little face, isn't it? It's his little paws and everything. So while this is wonderful, and it did in many ways save my Christmas, it's just not the same. So this is the butter ball. Next best thing to the butter bear. I'm really excited to use it, but lush, please. Next year, butter bear everything. Like I want butter bear shower jelly, butter bear bath bomb, butter bear soap, butter bear. Throw it on literally anything and I will buy it. So I have two of those butter balls and then I also have a magic star somewhere. I know that I have a magic star. I've seen it in my life don't know. This next thing, rather interesting, it is a bra organiser, but it's a little bit comical because the front has like a bra. You fold it out like so, you zip up the bottom so that it can maintain its shape, and then inside there are different compartments so you can slot your bras in. And I think that's a genius idea, but the front just <laughs> makes me laugh. It's like, okay, this is for your bras. We don't want you to get confused and start storing other things in here. No, no, no. This, only for bras. Only. Next, as per always, I have some new post-it notes. I've got the tiny baby ones that I use to organize my YouTube videos. I've got the to-do lists. I've got like the square ones, a nice variety pack. Probably most of you don't care. Probably most of you don't have the same level of feeling towards post-it notes that I do. That's okay. That makes you normal. I am not. And then a really exciting and unexpected gift that my dad picked out was Margaret Atwood's The Testaments. I read quite a bit of Margaret Atwood when I was in university and I really enjoyed what I read from her. Obviously the most famous work that she's written right now is The Handmaid's Tale because it got made into that really super creepy TV show that kind of went off on a tangent that I didn't agree with because the original book was pretty much perfect on its own and they didn't need to go off and do their own thing but we're not ranting about that right now we're talking about this and I'm really looking forward to it. Next let's delve into the Christmas stocking because this is where some of the really weird and wonderful things happen. I usually get quite a few oddities in my Christmas stocking. I don't think I got anything too strange this year but I don't really remember. So to start I got this little cover for the keyboard on my MacBook. Mine is absolutely filthy and I keep dropping like biscuit crumbs in there. I know, I'm a slob, I don't, I'm, whatever. Here is where my Magic Star bath bomb has gone. Oh no, it's fallen off the stick! This. How will I wave it around and pretend that I'm a fairy? If I hold it upright, then we're fine. But I love the whole drama of like swirling it around on the stick. In here, this is really cute. This is a tiny little box of mini nail files, which is gonna be really useful just to have in my bag. These are some cute teeny tiny soaps from Bubble and Fizz, which is my favorite place to get soaps now. I will not get them anywhere else. I have a smartphone tripod, which is gonna be really useful. This is just a little bandeau top perfect for going under things that are a little bit low cut. Just gives you that little extra bit of coverage. Fancy pens. Okay, we found the oddity. This is a Beauty and the Beast Mrs. Potts tea infuser. So it's for loose tea. I don't know if you can see, it has Mrs. Potts on the top and then she can just sit on the top of your teacup while your tea infuses. I don't drink loose leaf tea, but I'm ready to take up the habit of drinking loose leaf tea to incorporate this into my daily life. Next, I wanna show you guys the things that Cody bought me and I'm so excited because he made some good choices. First, I have a new wine glass. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see because of the light, but it has a little etching in here. It has a mini mouse bow and then it says, I wine because I'm not at Disney. He knows me so well. I do whine because I'm not at Disney. If I could be at Disney every day, preferably 
in that little bar in California Adventure drinking wine, that would be my ultimate life. Maybe 2020, that will be my life one can hope. Then he got me another Disney related gift because he knows me so well and this is this really adorable like oversized jumper. It has a Mickey Mouse little crest thing here and then on the back in really large letters it says Disney. And then the big surprise showstopper gift that I got from Cordy this year was an Apple Watch. I was like this. It was the first time in my life I've been rendered actually speechless. So exciting! I never thought that I would own an Apple Watch because it's not something that I would ever have gone out and bought for myself. But now that I have it, I changed my life! I mean, well, I've worn it for one day and all I really did was get an Instagram notification. But the fact that I can get Instagram notifications to my wrist now, like, what? The future is here. I mean, it's dead right now. I need to charge it, but I love it. I love being able to see my messages and who's talking to me. I have a little walkie-talkie on here so I can talk to Cordy at any time, day or night, to wake him up when he's sleeping over in San Diego. It can direct me places. I mean, I'm lost 99% of my life. This has Google Maps and it vibrates to tell me which way to go. This is a life-changing experience for me, I am sure. And I'm really excited about it. So he got me this rose gold strap to go with it too. And I just love it. Next, let's talk auntie gifts. And here is where we return to pajama mania. Because my auntie Sean got me some really nice pajamas. I mean, technically from my auntie and my uncle, but do you see my uncle going into the department store and picking out pajamas for him and no, it's all on Auntie Sean. So again, these ones are from Debenhams and I have these cute little cotton bottoms with little eyelashes and lipstick on there and then the matching top that does up with buttons at the front with the cute little collar. Then from my Auntie Sandra, you guessed it, more pajamas and these are from Jasper Conran and they're really really soft I've got these little shorts here with the cute little pattern on and the top is a little like vest top but what I love love like game changer love about this is that it has built-in cups so you don't have to wear a bra other pajama manufacturers of the world take note this is what we need in our lives and then from my auntie Anne, i got let christmas be gin you guys can't see it but that's what it says and then the last gift i got i cannot physically show you it's from my friend bethan and she got me a vegan cookbook but it's an ebook so it's vegan and it's like 100% sustainable because it's not even printed on anything and she was like i knew you'd like it because it's vegan and sustainable and i was like yes you know. Oh, I'm falling. <sighs> okay, you guys, so that was everything that I got for Christmas this year. It has been so much fun once again to share all of these quirky little things with you and to just sit down and have a chat with you today. I feel so grateful that I have you guys to talk to, especially on a day where I'm like hyped up on Dayquil and missing my boyfriend. So to just be able to sit down and take my mind off things for a few I mean hours at this point. I'm looking at this as if it's charged. It's not. I feel like I've been here for many hours anyway. But it's been fun. I hope you guys have had a good time too. And I would love to know what you guys have gotten for Christmas this year. So go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. We are wrapping up this video just in time for this weird change in light with the whole shadowy face situation. So I feel like I timed it just right. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that now. Go and click that subscribe button, wherever it is. For those of you on my odd squad, I love you guys so much. You are fantastic and wonderful and I just really appreciate your support. But now as the sun moves its way across the sky and starts to blind me, I am going to say thank you guys so much for joining me today and I will see you all soon. Bye!